This month has been rough. It's always rough, but you guys know that I'm the kind of person that has to let people know what the hell's going on. Yeah, I'm going all out with this update, so let's get started. I'm Mega Man NG. This is my mid-month update for November 15th. Brilliance dulled. Let me at least be blunt with it because this update is when I'm going to go all out for two reasons. You'll know about them soon enough. First, we begin with shoutouts and sponsors. Number one, active commenter shoutouts. Since the great Ace Attorney 2 resolve had come to an end recently, I may as well give praise to those that commented throughout the showing of the final chapter, the resolve of Naruhodo Yunosuke. Cassidy, J. Williams, Eric Cooper, Warp Chaos, Cosmic 1993, Hilver Sunborn, and Javier Munoz. And if there are others that I forget, they get shoutouts as well. You all deserve the praise. I also give bonus shoutouts to Cosmic1993 and Javier Muno for sharing my videos, whether it be on YouTube or on Twitter. That alone earns praise because these guys know their stuff. That and they care for my channel and my content. Again, if you want shoutouts of your own, you need to be active. I say it in caps because I can't stress it enough. Trust me, I, I'll know. It includes liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and clicking that bell. I know some of you may get tired of me saying this, but like I mentioned in my previous monthly update, YouTube has continued to make things harder for us creators. They will continue to make it harder, and they'll be more than willing to put us under the bus if given the chance. Don't worry, I'll be discussing about that. There are sadly no dono shoutouts because nobody donated. I'm not Dark Side Phil. I don't put anyone down if they can't donate. If they can't, then that's it. Next comes channel member shoutouts. Before I continue, I do want to say that I will me not be judging anyone that cancels their membership. Remember, I'm not DSP, and I don't need to be. The reason why I say this is to show everyone that not all creators are bad people. But anyway, there are only three members in this update. Tomboy Player 1999 for 13 months, Big Cami 007, and Javier Muno for 14. I'll be working on the tier levels because it's high time I get this done. There's no excuse. If you want a shout out of your own, you can do any of the following. Be a channel member by hitting that join button or donating via Super Chat or via PayPal. I say it once and I will say it a, mil a thousand times, or rather a million times. All of this is not mandatory, but it's always appreciated. Last but not least, this video is brought to you by the fine folks of Japan Code Supply. If you want to save money when you order, head to japancodesupply.com and use the code word MEGANG to save $3 off orders over $50. Let's hope I get more sponsors. Guess I can always ask Raycon or something. What can you do? And the last one, why it's important, I'm going to keep it short. There are many reasons why I keep telling people to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click that bell. I want this channel to grow. And if it means I have to endure all the hate that comes my way, I will. The month of November so far is still a tough struggle. 16.7% of my watch time are from subscribers. The rest are from not subscribe, and I want this to improve. So I'm sending this message to anyone who hasn't been sub to this channel. What are you doing? Why haven't you subscribed? You should consider doing so. Besides, it helps alleviate the stress that I have to go through. November saw me finally fi finishing The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. I do want to apologize because I kind of neglected covering the rest of it because for whatever reason I never did. I got sidetracked. This is what happens when you don't have that much to do. You can thank the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster, and yes, I will have a chapter devoted entirely to it and why I decided to do it to begin with, though that will probably happen after I complete the Pixel Remaster for FF6. There may be an extra video for DGS showing all the cutscenes as well as the bonus content, so be on the lookout. Not to mention, we finished the Pixel Remaster for Final Fantasy IV, and boy, was that a pain in the ass. Forgive my language. Anyway, the reason why is that is because of copyright claims. A lot of them. Because of the Battle 2 theme, aka the first boss theme of Final Fantasy IV. Many of my videos were hit by it and I had to dispute them because all of them fall under fair use. This is why there are times that I love being a content creator and there are times that I hate it. This is the times that I outright disliked. Hopefully they can be settled. Not only that, but I did a few showcase videos. Only a few because there really hasn't been that much. Mostly just a video showing Blue Reflection's second light. 
I wanted to do Shin Megami Tensei 5, but Sega slash Atlas hasn't gotten back to me on that. Along with Demon Slayer. Sometimes I do games like Lost Judgment and Super Monkey Ball, but when it comes to games like these, I don't know. What can you do, honestly? The rest of November will be devoted to continuing the FF5 Pixel Remaster. And yeah, I will get it done even even if I have to grind constantly to make sure that every single character masters every single job. I'm currently at Gallop's World, aka the second act. That means I'll be going through some boss fights aplenty, including Gilgamesh. November 19th is the premiere of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I will be covering Brilliant Diamond and seeing it through from start to finish. I'll also have to modify OBS so that way the data doesn't use up that much. There are reasons for it and I'd rather not risk it. One of them is being that the SSD. And after learning from my previous experience with Ninja Gaiden and whatnot, and the fact that I render on the SSD when I should be doing that on the HDD really shows. So far there has not been any issues and I'd rather not want to take the chance. I learned that the last time with Ninja Gaiden and let us never speak of that again. Yeah. Also, I'm finally going to be working on my Save the PlayStation Legacy version 2 video. I just need to work on the script for it. Especially since I'm now more gung-ho than ever, especially with all the decisions that Sony has made over the past few years. Pray for me at least. Okay, so I'm doing this now because I'd rather not want to save it for the end. Because Advance Wars Reboot Camp got delayed till April 2022, December will be devoted to tie the Tasmanian Tiger to HD. I made a promise to my only Diamond Tier patron, Dr. Dark 7, that I would get it done. I'm going to also be working on a review for the unaired Nickelodeon pilot, Constant Pain. The reason for this is twofold. One, to provide my thoughts from a perspective that is much older, and two, to maybe find a way to get in touch with its creator, Micah J. Wright. You guys know that my disdain for Nickelodeon went full throttle after Rise ended, as well as glitch text being stuck in limbo, and the very poor treatment of many shows such as Harvey Beaks, Making Fiends, and others. It's going to be a very dicey review, but it will also be an honest one. Now for Real Talk. This Real Talk's a two-parter because I have a lot to say about the following two topics. Up first is YouTube, and their recent decisions as of late further proves my point. What is it? It's that YouTube cares more for corporations rather than their creators. It's true, and like I said, the recent decisions prove it. For those that don't know, YouTube is planning to hide the dislike button. The response they got from that announcement was overwhelmingly bad. Seriously. The fact that YouTube can make questionable decisions like these is just wrong. In fact, it's not the first time they made a decision like this. Hell, they have made tons of choices. Some positive, the rest negative. I remember when YouTube allowed their creators to have their channels have a sense of identity. Nowadays, it's all gone down the tubes. Whether it be removing the ability to send messages to others, video responses, annotations, the works. All of it is bad. But you wonder why YouTube would do this to begin with. Simple answer, really. It's because YouTube has given in towards corporations and companies who don't like it when what they show off gets downvote rate by people with actual common sense. Hell, even the White House's official YouTube channel get downvotes on the videos they present. That really shows who YouTube really prefers. The fact that YouTube's doing it is just so dumb. They even have the gall to say that they care for their users. Forgive my language. I've said this once, but I may as well just say it again. But I call bullshit. It's bullshit because YouTube never cared for their users. They would rather bury us and throw us under the bus to save their own skins. That's what happened in late 2019 with the whole COPPA situation happened. What did YouTube do? Punish us instead of taking up accountability when they got in trouble with the FCC. And now with this, they say they're doing it to protect smaller creators, but like I said, they never did care for us creators at all. They never care for anyone except celebrities and corporations. That's who their real loyalties lie, and I say to hell with them. Not to mention, Susan Wojcicki is not a good leader for YouTube. And I don't want to sound disrespectful or sexist or anything like that, but some women do make poor leaders. I will list two examples. Susan Wojcicki is one of them. Saima Garhani is the other. And for those who don't know, Saima Garhani is the former Nickelodeon president who nearly drove Nickelodeon to oblivion in the 2010s. 
That's my thoughts on what YouTube's planning. But after a pip, after a bit, people won't care and we'll just move on to something else. With the first part out of the way, now comes the second part. And boy, I'm going to have a field day with this. If you want a summary, basically Rockstar announced that the GTA trilogy will be getting a definitive edition. And I'm using quotations on this. Basically, GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas are getting remasters. And people were pretty excited. However, what we didn't know is that Rockstar decided to be a little sneaky by delisting the previous versions of GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. They did this as a means of preventing any sales of their definitive editions be diverted to the previous better versions. Square Enix did that with the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. Although, in their defense, the iOS and Steam versions of 5 and 6 are just not that good. They're just not that good, period. And 1 and 2 are basically ports of the PSP version, which I still have, by the way. Final Fantasy 3 and 4 have, have their 3D version stayed because they have enough to make it be different. And I'm serious with that. If anyone asks, the Pixel remasters are very good. I just wish that they can bring them to consoles, but knowing Square Enix, they'll most likely do that once all six are already released. Back on topic. The Definitive Editions have since been released. And here, boy, they are utter garbage. I'm serious. The games are filled with so many problems, so many issues, and it has me wondering, how the hell can they screw this up? But let's not forget that this is Rockstar. This is the same company that would have them and take to issue DMCA takedown notices for mods relating to GTA. The same company that would focus more on GTA Online at the expense of additional single player content. The same company that grew greedy, complacent, and overall messed up. I'm thankful that I didn't get my hands on these. Honestly, I regret not getting the previous versions on PS4. Because had I did, I'd stream them instead of this definitive edition crap. My thoughts on this is simple. Rockstar dropped the ball hard, all for the sake of profits, and I am really happy to see them get their just desserts. And I wouldn't be surprised if Matt McMuscles would end up devoting an entire episode of what happened on the GTA Definitive Trilogy, because man, that would be a laugh. Seriously, don't buy the Definitive Edition. If you own a copy of the previous versions, whether on PS3 or PS4, by all means play those. They're much better, more stable, and rec represent Rockstar when they actually care about quality. I still have, might have to get my hands on GTA 4, though. Too bad the company doesn't care, unfortunately, and that's a shame. And there you have it. This update is, is a longer one, plus it's late because I have my own problems going on, mostly family-based. Also, I didn't mention this in the update, but viewership is dropping harder than a desert, with daily viewership riding around 4 to 5k per day. I guess this is the price I pay for not innovating or doing stupid clickbait like other YouTubers would do. Don't worry, I won't go on a tirade like I normally would, but due to me finishing the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, it's to be expected. I'm fine with that, honestly. So yeah, let's just end this already. If you enjoyed this update, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. The like button it means a lot to me please also don't forget to like comment share subscribe and click the bell all that means a lot as well if you want to support the channel you can do so either by being a channel member donating via paypal or supporting me on patreon none of that is mandatory but like i said it's truly appreciated and yeah i have that feeling it's gonna stick for a while this is mega man ng signing off peace out i need a break